Hello everyone. Welcome to another video. In today's video, I will be showing you a project uh, where I will be creating all the resources end to end via Terraform. And uh, on your screen right now, you can see an architectural diagram where I'm going to explain you the different resources that we'll be creating as part of this project and also the entire workflow. And this is almost like a real world scenario where uh, if you if you are working for a company where you are uh, trying to deploy your resources into EKS clusters. So this is how uh, it's going to look like. All right. So let's get started and uh, just try to understand the architecture first and then I'll, I'll show you how to create these resources. So we have two Docker files, one for the front end part of the application and the other one for the back end part of the application. So we'll be using these two Docker files to create our container images. And once we have our images ready, we will be creating these images to two different ECR repositories. So we'll be getting two ECR repositories, one for front end, the other one for the back end, and we'll be pushing the respective images to these two ECR uh, repositories. Then we will be creating an uh, AWS VPC. Okay, so uh, this VPC is going to be created using the Terraform's official registry. So we'll be using one Terraform module to create this VPC. Once we have our VPC ready, we will be creating an EKS cluster. EKS cluster is going to have two worker nodes. And once we have our cluster ready with two worker nodes, we will be using these two ECR repositories to pull the container images from for our front end and back end pods. Okay. So this is how the entire workflow is going to be. And each and every step that I just spoke about is going to be completely automated via Terraform, which means that uh, we will be creating the, the container images from our Docker file. So this, this step is also going to be automated along with the two ECR repositories that will be created. It will be automated and then we will be uh, creating the cluster and we'll be able to pull the images from ECR to create the respective uh, front end and uh, back end pods. Okay, so the entire workflow uh, is, is going to be completely automated along with all the resources that I just spoke about. Okay, so there will be no manual intervention in this entire workflow. All right, so let's see how we can uh, create these resources. So I'm on my home laptop where I have I uh, installed Visual Studio Code as my IDE and I have already configured AWS CLI and uh, AWS uh, access via the uh, IAM role on my laptop. Okay, if you need any help with that, you can reach out to me. All right, so all that has al already been configured. So, so uh, I have complete control on uh, what I want to do in my respective uh, AWS account. So this is my AWS account here. So I, I will be able to authenticate from a laptop using the IAM role. Okay. All right. So let's just understand the different files uh, that we have. All right. To, to create these, these uh, different resources. All right. So I'll start with a providers.tf. So here I'm using two uh, different providers, one for AWS, because I'm trying to create my resources in my AWS account. I'm specifying the region and the profile that I'll be using to interact uh, to uh, interact with my account. So I'm, I'm going to use this profile, which I'm specifying in, in the variable form here. Uh, so I'm using a variable where dot AWS underscore profile uh, to interact with my AWS account. And then I'm using another provider called Kubernetes. In each of these TF files, you will see some additional commands mentioned so that you don't have to look for any information elsewhere. You can just go through this and you'll be able to understand why this block is here. So this, this block that I've defined here, this is going to configure the uh, Kubernetes uh, provider in Terraform to connect to your EKS cluster using its API endpoint CA certificate and authentication token. Because our uh, Terraform uh, needs to talk to my uh, Kubernetes API to do certain things within the cluster. So I'm using this block here. Then under main.tf, I'm specifying the name of the, I mean, I'm, I'm specifying the uh, EKS cluster resource block, which I'll be using to create the cluster. I'm specifying a role that I want to use with EKS. 
then inside the EKS cluster resource block, I'm specifying the VPC config. So I, I'll be using, I mean, uh, I'll be using some uh, subnets and I, I'll be specifying some uh, endpoints uh, to be set to true. It's for example, uh, since I want to interact with this EKS cluster after creation from my local, from a laptop. So I'm specifying endpoint uh, 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 public access to be set to true. Okay, so this is going to ensure that I will be talk, I, I will be able to talk to the EKS cluster from my laptop, and I'm also specifying depends on, which means that the IAM role and the IAM role policy should be attached to the role before this cluster is being created. Okay, else this this may actually fail the cluster. So you have to ensure that the IAM role and and the policy is created before you create the cluster. Okay. And then I'm, then I'm specifying the uh, node group as well for the EKS. Okay, so I'm going to use this. Uh, so I'm specifying the name, the uh, node role ARN. Okay, and uh, then I'm specifying the subnet IDs. Okay, so I'm using the same subnet IDs that is being created as part of my VPC from the module. And then I'm specifying the, the, the configuration of my node. So it's going to start with one, but it can go up to three. Okay. Then instance type, I'm specifying uh, using a variable. Okay, all the variables are stored in variables.tf file. Once again, I'm specifying depends on because I need to ensure that the sequence is correct else the uh, the Terraform config may fail, okay, in between. So I need to ensure that all, all the resources, all, all the dependencies are resolved. So I need to have the uh, cluster ready first, okay, and then the uh, role of, of my node and the the uh, policy also okay which, which is going to be attached to the nodes in the cluster so all that should be created uh, beforehand before you are getting the node group all right then variables.tf i'm using standard variables only region cluster name node group name instance type backend image uh, front end image so these are the two variables that i'll be using to create my ecr uh, images image image tags okay and i'm specifying the uh, uh, aws profile as well because i'm specifying that in, in, in the provider configuration as you can see where dot aws underscore profile so this is the variable i'm using to pass the aws profile that i'll be using which has all the access to interact with my aws account to create the resources then under data, under data.tf i'm using two blocks so once again i want to fetch some information dynamically into my main.tf resource blocks from here and once again i've specified some additional commands that that these data sources fetch the eks clusters details and authentication token so terraform can access the cluster securely so ecr.tf here i'm specifying the uh, two ecr repositories that i'll be creating okay so one for the back end and one for the front end and then i'm specifying the null resource block where i'm i'm trying to interact with my two uh, ECR repositories so that I can tag my images and uh, push them to the respective ECR registries. Okay, so this null resource is like a virtual resource that you create. So within the within this resource, I'm specifying a local exec provisioner, which is going to give me a shell to run these commands and and do all these things automatically without having to do anything manually. So I'm doing it once for the backend part and the other one for the front end part okay and once again i'm using uh, another resource called uh, local file so this is going to generate a kubernetes backend.yaml file from a template re replacing placeholders with the backend ecr image url so here i have two yaml files frontend.yaml and backend.yaml i need to replace the name of the image that has been pushed in the earlier steps okay so all this thing, all these, all these steps are happening automatically for me. So within these two files, the image that is now pushed to my ECR registry in the earlier step are, are going to be replaced in these two files so that I have the latest image to be deployed as pods within the EKS cluster. Okay, so all this is happening automatically using these different resource block that I'm using. Then im.tf where I'm specifying my uh, cluster role and my node role. I'm I'm trying to specify the the required permissions that it needs okay so all the policies are there the CNI policy ecr policy and some uh, eks worker node policy so it's it's going to be uh, attached to the respective roles okay 
and then under a k8s.tf uh, I am again using this null resource okay uh, so this is actually to apply uh, this, is, this is actually to create the resources within the uh, EKS cluster so so I, I don't have to run these kubectl apply hyphen f command within this k8s directory I'm using again I'm using this uh, local exec uh, uh, provisional which is going to give me a shell to run these commands for me okay so here the first step is I'm trying to update the cube config so that I, I get the cluster set up correctly okay with the right context and then I'm using the the uh, kubectl apply command within this k8s directory to create my resources okay so once again this is where this uh, an automation is, is going to happen so I don't have to run these uh, commands uh, okay uh, manually so all these things are going to be taken care by uh, uh, terraform code itself so all the steps that I am just saying all these things are going to happen automatically and then in the uh, locals dot tf I am just specifying some tags you can add your own tags as well if you want to okay which is which is going to be used to uh, name your sources okay for this project and then under outputs dot tf I am just uh, trying to output the backend ECR and the frontend ECR URL but once again you can add more if you want to okay as, as part of your project all right this is done let's try to create the sources so I'll start with a terraform in it okay one thing I haven't done here is uh, creating the backend configuration on an S3 bucket I have already I shown that in my last video so I did not repeat it here if you need any help with uh, creating the S3 bucket to store your uh, a terraform state file and getting a state locking in, in DynamoDB so that I uh, that I've already done in my last terraform project so I'm going to give you the link of that video in the description of this video so you can take a look at that okay okay uh, now uh, just one more thing uh, there's one more file uh, which I forgot to explain which is dev.tfwars so once again this code is going to be I mean this code is reusable in multiple environments okay so I'm using this dev.tfwars file to specify that this this configuration is going to apply to the dev environment okay so when I'm using this uh, terraform plan and apply command I have to pass in an additional flag called where hyphen fi uh, file and then the name of the file that I want to pass okay so it's going to be dev.tfwars because I want to pass this information okay so this is only relevant to the dev accounts and similarly in real world you create the separate uh, uh, tfwars files for the different uh, accounts or the different uh, environments okay so it can be stage can be prod or it can be some other environment so this is how you, you are able to use the same code in multiple accounts or environments all right so we can see the plan command was successful and uh, we will be creating 34 resources okay so let's just try to apply this and I'm also going to specify auto approve so that I don't have to uh, approve the request okay it's, it's going to take some time maybe I think close to 10 to 15 minutes so I'll be back once it's done okay so uh, actually there was an error uh, I'll just just want to show you if you see this type of error when you uh, run this uh, terraform apply command so you need to worry about it just repeat your uh, terraform apply command one more time okay and then you will see all the resources created successfully all right now we can see the cluster the cluster is ready it's healthy all right and uh, you can also see the pods the pods were created in a different namespace it was a three tier so so you can see the back end and the front end pods are running okay if you want to verify everything in AWS you can go to your AWS account and uh, open ECR 
uh, EKS, you can verify all the resources there. <clears throat> okay, so we have two uh, repositories, backend and frontend, and you can see one image also pushed. Okay, frontend also pushed. You can also see the EKS cluster. Okay, it's ready. Okay, did like 20 minutes ago. Okay, so everything is looking good. We are able to uh, deploy this entire architecture end to end without we having to do anything manually. Okay, so all all the all the steps, all the resources are completely automated by Terraform. All right. So uh, this demo was actually on the infra part. Okay, I don't want to focus more on the application. It can be any application. Okay, I mean I, I just uh, deployed uh, one uh, front end and back end pod, but uh, in this way you can create a deployment or stateful set you can get a service resource as well okay so all the things are going to remain the same only only thing that's uh, i mean there's going to change in your is, is your configuration uh, yaml manifest file so if you if you see here i have this <coughs> directory called uh, kads here i have my uh, backend.yml frontend.yml and namespace.yml so here you have to put all the other yaml manifest file that you want to create as part of this project okay so you do just have to specify uh, the service resource or stateful set or deployment all the things uh, you, 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 uh, you can just put here because we are using the uh, local exec provisioner here if you remember let me show it to you so here we are just trying to up, uh, apply all the yaml manifest to our uh, cluster using this command Okay, so it's going to specify that apply everything that is there inside k test directory so it can be anything okay but the uh, focus of this this project was to be uh, able to automate each and every step that we usually do manually from the ui okay like i'm um, getting the ecr registries uh, then uh, tagging the images okay so all that is happening here automatically as you can see everything is completely automated all right so that was the motive of this project so yeah that's all i wanted to uh, show you i hope it was useful to you so all the code everything step by step uh, i mean you will have a readme.md file that will be available in the github uh, in the github repo so everything will be available there so you can try to replicate everything in your uh, own laptop as well all right guys that's all i wanted to cover and i'm going to see you in the next one bye for now